Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to see how to do a basic recall system. So I'm going to grab the gun here on the ground. And when I'm shooting, you can see it's going up by itself all the time. So we're going to see how to do this. So I'm going to open a new project. And in a new project here, the only thing I did is in the project setting in the input, I added an action key for firing, which is the left mouse button. And the character, the first person character, I just uh, set up a basic line trace function so I can shoot. So after you completed this, or you already probably have that in your game, from here, if you want to add recall, uh, we're just going to add the pitch. So we're going to add controller pitch. And we're going to also add the yaw pitch. So the controller pitch is up and down, and the controller yaw is left and right. And I want this to be on a random floating range, which is going to be minus 0.5 to minus 1. And I'm just going to copy this and put it up here. And I'm going to return that. So minus value will go up and to the left like a normal gun when you shoot and if you want it the other way for x reason uh, you can just put a positive value in it so we're just going to compile that and try that so when i shoot as you can see it's going up it's a little bit random it's not that crazy random because the number are kind of close but if you have for example a bigger gun uh, you can put minus one to i don't know minus five and let's see what it does so you can shoot and you can see it's a big boom right so it's probably like when you shoot a shotgun for example it's going to be a something like this right so you can play with those value but it's just a basic basic recall system and you can always take all of that and collapse it in a node or a macro or function depending on what you want exactly and yeah, that's pretty much that. So this is really the basic, basic how to do a recall system. So hopefully uh, it was useful and nothing complicated. So I'll catch you on the next one.